Hello everyone. Welcome to the playlist of sensors and transducers. I hope all are doing well. In this video I will be discussing the measurement of linear displacement. Before starting the lecture video, I request everyone to subscribe my channel and kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Moving on to the discussion. First of all, I will ask one question. What do you mean by displacement? So, you, you might have already studied about displacement. Displacement is nothing but the shortest distance between final and initial point that is called displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity and the unit is measured in terms of meter. Then there are many more applications to measure the displacement in the industry. How do you measure the displacement? So there are different techniques to measure the displacement which are given in the PPT. So as you can able to see there are different measurements right from the beginning a simple method that is by using resistive potentiometer then you can use the strain gauge then variable inductance transducers then you can make use of linear variable differential transducers then capacitive transducers then you can make use of hard effect transducers then electronic based transducers ionization transducers then you can make use of digital transducers at the end you can go for acoustic transducers these are the quite popular method which is mainly used for measurement of linear displacement so for your information i have covered entire topic in my previous lecture video kindly visit the playlist the same playlist of sensors and transducers and also for your betterment i am going to put the complete uh, video link in the description box of this particular video i request everyone to go through that particular video you can you will be getting the individual information and also i am going to put few videos in the i button as well but uh, i did not cover a small topic that is how do you measure the linear if the linear displacement is very minute or very tiny if the if you wanted to measure the small displacement how do you make out this so this method cannot able to use for the measurement of very small displacement at that time you can able to use one method i wanted to show you that particular method so everybody can able to see this particular diagram first let me familiar to this particular diagram so we are having an ac supply input it may be single phase 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply and that is a primary winding of the tran transformer and you can able to see the secondary winding of the transformer these are the two coils which are connected in an opposite manner and uh, another point i wanted to tell you there is a movable core so here you can point out this is a movable core see movable core the mechanical object i wanted to measure the displacement of a mechanical object the mechanical object has been directly connected to movable core where i want to measure the displacement of mechanical object another part i want to tell you that look at the receiver part here we have a motor suitable motor is available with a suitable winding motor with a winding and uh, the control unit here you can able to have a, an amplifier to modulate the signal to amplify the signal and the uh, system is connected with a proper grounding that is mentioned here so these are the entire setup of measurement of very minute displacement or we can call it as a small displacement how does it work provide the supply first in the foremost you need to provide the suitable supply which i mentioned one single phase 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply you know that the transformers works based on the principle of faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction especially we can call mutual induction as i already mentioned you that uh, the movable core there is a movable core that is directly connected with the object this is your object see I wanted to measure the displacement of this particular object, correct? Suppose two points are there, the object will be moving from point A to B. This is point A, this will be point B, correct? The movable object is directly connected to the movable core. With respect to the movement of the object, you know, the movable core is also going upward and downward. Okay. Now, the secondary side you can able to have a look at this secondary side look at the secondary side 
the induced emf in the second side that is going to depend on the movement of the core with respect to the displacement the value of induced emf which is taken place in the output side that is getting varied it is a statically induced emf because it's a transformer right so the output with respect to the displacement uh, the core static moving with respect to the movement of the core the output to voltage of the transformer is getting varied and that output that is getting amplified with the help of a suitable amplifier okay uh, because that signal may be very less so with the help of amplifier you can provide the strength for the particular signal you can do the amplification amplifier you know different amplifiers so the amplifier output is directly connected to the motor thereby motor starts operating so we are going to measure with respect to the change in displacement movement displacement that is directly proportional to the output voltage the output voltage that is directly depending on the motor movement so this uh, this way you can able to figure out the small displacement in a simple manner so this method i haven't discussed so far that is why i explained in this session so remaining methods which i mentioned in the previous slide can be gone through can be observed in the previous uh, lecture videos the same description link can be used for watching individual topics let me know if you are having any questions and uh, in the next session i am going to discuss how do we measure angular displacement if you are having any clarification you can put up the same thing in the comment box definitely i will revert i would like to thank you for your continuous support have a good time thank you